Yo, 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 you know what time it is, you know what time it is, you're locked in and loaded to a new episode of the DLS, man, the Day Late Show, this is season 5 of episode 3 of the DLS, man, I go by one half of the flyest DJs on the airways, I am E2 Smooth, you know what I'm saying, and normally we'll have the co-host OG Penny in the building, but again, you guys know, she taking care of that business, and we love the graduates, so Miss Penny, Go ahead and bring that degree home. You dig what I'm saying? But with that being said, man, we got the you know what I'm saying we got the hottest up and coming producer director in the building with us tonight, man. He go by Trey Diesel. Some of you might know him, and some of his work that you have seen, including the DLS Today Late Show, Mister Never Not Real himself, Mister Trey Diesel, man. What's chilling, going on, chilling, man? Chilling, bro. Chilling, bro. Hey. Hey, bro, you ready, fam? Yes, sir. You ready? Stay ready to keep getting ready. Just stay, just stay tuned. <laughs> so look, look, man. I, I just want to, you know, what I'm saying, chop it up with you real quick, bro, and uh, you know, talk. Just you know, see where your head at. Let's you know, talk about some of these topics and things. Actually, these two topics that we got tonight actually came in through the email, right? right. And so, you know what I'm saying, I want to, you know, pick your brain and see what you think about it, right? But, you know, each week here on the Day Late Show, we like to kick the show off by giving a quick debrief, our highs and lows for the week. So, I'm going to let you start it off with this, Trey. Man, give me your highs for the the week and your lows, my bad. Uh, Really, the highs, same thing I had last week, just spending more time with the fam, uh, becoming more locked in in what I want to do, Um, just Picking up more jobs and more opportunities, creating them for myself and Thanks. everything like that. Thanks. Uh, for the lows, I could just go to say not being as productive as I wanted to be, even with getting some of these things accomplished. It's like I still know in my mind that it's something like a missing piece that I'm not following up with. And yeah. Just finding what that is and, and tweaking it to my to I feel my that. I feel that. I feel that. Um. What uh, you said your lows? That was my low. Yeah, that was your low. All right. Uh, for me, man, the high for the week is just uh, I I, I have been being more productive. Um, you know, actually being more goal oriented, staying focused to the the plan that's set, uh, making sure that I'm hitting all the goals that I had set for myself the week before, and uh, you know, just that that will be one of the most uh most highs that I didn't had this week is just being more goal goal oriented. Uh, making sure that I'm hitting it and uh, staying focused on the plan. Um, the lows for the week is just um, I've been tired a lot lately. You know, I've been you know working a lot more, and um, I just you know just you know that's there's been a low. Just hoping that you know I can get a little rest and keep myself you know energized enough to keep going and and keep everything flowing. But for the most part, man, I I really can't complain too much this week, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, this week has been it's been tested, you know, but. It's been one of those those tests that you just need every once in a while, you know, one of those yeah. reality checks. So I can't complain too much, man. I can't complain too much. But look, you know, each you know each week that we do here on the DLS, man, we always have you know the males and the male and the female point of view of different topics, right? So this go around, I want to switch it up just a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. We I want to get it mostly from a male's point of view, right? right? So that's why I'm glad that these topics that we chose and selected for this week is some that I feel like everybody. Will be able to you know relate to both sides but just mainly for the males you know what i'm saying but i do understand we have female listeners as well so guys listen i'm not trying to just you know put it off on you i'm not trying to x you out the equation these uh you know topics are for everybody but no, and we, the answers we're gonna get to that though. we're gonna we're gonna get to it the answers is for everybody too but i just wanted to give you guys you know a point of view from both males right so let's get into it hey man how long it's too long for you to be dating someone with no commitment. What you think? For me personally, I would say probably like over a year. Like a year? But that's me saying it from my point of view. Like, yeah. Because I've been in that situation before where I've talked to somebody. Like, we knew we wanted to be together, but it's yeah. like at the same time, we just couldn't do that at that time because. Yeah. It was me personally. I wasn't ready. I wanted to be in a certain position to be able to provide certain things before I 
took that next step. Took it. Yeah. As a male, it's certain things you want to have accomplished and certain things you want to do before you put yourself in certain situations. Facts, it's facts, like certain facts. expectations placed upon males that are not placed, placed upon females. And that's and, uh, say, bro. You hit it on the head with that one for sure. Well, go yeah. ahead, my bad. Now nah, you could, uh, yeah. It's just those certain expectations, and if as a man, as a man, if I feel like I'm not able to provide or live up to those expectations, then I'm not gonna put myself in that, in that Facts. predicament. Facts. Um, that's why it took me so long to move out of that, move on to that next step. Right. right. Uh, but for everybody in general, I just feel like it's about the time that both both parties are ready, bro. It ain't necessarily a time limit, like a set time limit. It'd be like, hey, we should be dating for six months, and then after that, we should be a couple. It ain't, it ain't that. It ain't, it ain't nothing set in stone, bro. Man, and you know what, bro, really, and you really hit it on the head, but to pick it back off of what you said, I just feel like you should never really want to put a time, you know, and I feel like, especially in this generation, time is it's the it's the out it's the adolescent like everybody yeah. wants to be you know perfect at some point in time everybody wants to have everything together at this certain point of time but i feel like you know we got to remember and I, I honestly feel that we should go back to how our parents and grandparents came about you know what i'm saying taking time to figure each other out mm-hmm. you know you don't want to oh well, i want to be married before i'm 25 or i want to be married before i'm 28 i don't want to be married before i'm 30 make making sure that you really just know your partner as well as you think yourself, you know you know yourself, what i'm saying bro, you and yourself, yourself as well so you you have to and i feel like if you're rushing into things that's when you're bound to make a mistake so if you take the time to actually learn your partner, figure your partner out, know what makes them mad, know what makes them happy, and just and and vice versa, your partner understand that thing, know those same things. Excuse me about you. Then that's when you'll know that you're ready. I feel like you'll know, you know, like that feeling to tell you that vibe to tell you like this the one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I know that I'm ready to make that first step. Like you said, and I feel like in in certain areas, man, you just you gotta quit trying to rush everything, because in, in my personal opinion, in my opinion, I feel like when you rush things and you try to put a time on something, that runs people off. Mm-hmm. And some people be like, well, that means that they just ain't ready. They need to grow up. Nah, that don't mean that. But it's just like at the same time, it's like you thinking on that level. Which in your head you feel like the person that you're trying to be with needs to be on that level, but at the same time you have to realize everybody's not you. Exactly, you, you know what I mean. That, you got to take that step back and be, uh, ask yourself like, why is this person not comfortable enough to move on to? Nah, the next for step real, with me? for real. Like, what can I do to to di- differ the situation, bro? And I feel like again, the time will tell. But you got to give it time to tell because then you get in those situations where when, when you know, you go into a new situation or you you talking to someone and you feeling that person and you feel like, OK, you know, this can be going somewhere. But in the back of your mind, you're not trying to go in with the expectations of I know somewhere it's going to be a red flag. You know what I'm saying? And then when the red flag finally shows itself, the first thing that come out your mouth is I knew it. You know what I mean? So you got to be able to take that time and figure your partner out. The same way as the partner need to take that time to figure you out. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that's just on, on some real GP stuff. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I feel like in this in this time, in our generation, right, I feel like everybody is chasing something. Everybody is chasing that dream. Everybody wants that 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 you know that independence that entrepreneurship i want to be able to build this i want to be able to have on my own i want to be able to come and go as i please make my own decisions you know what i'm saying but at the same time i feel like we also understand too that that's hard everybody's not meant to have that you know what i'm saying everybody's not meant to do that but my question to you and to the viewers at home is you know what i'm saying does chasing your dreams scare you yeah of course. It's supposed to scare you because you're not supposed to be comfortable all the time chasing your dreams. You're supposed to put yourself in, yourself in certain situations that's going to make you uncomfortable. That's what's going to make you grow as a person and, and as an entrepreneur in whatever field it is that you're trying to do. If you're not uncomfortable in certain situations, then you're not doing something right. Man, say, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. And I love, man, whoever sent this topic in, and it was an anonymous uh, anonymous. anonymous Sender that sent it in But I gotta get my words together bro. <laughs> I can't lie I gotta get my words together But um, I, I like this question because 
I feel that, you know, fear is the cost of chasing your dream. That's the first thing. And I also feel that fear lives where there's no preparation. Mm -hmm. If you have no p preparation of what you're chasing, then, of course, you're going to be fear fearful of what that next level or that next step or that next door has for you. But I also say that to say this, man, you have to remember that to start something, you have to be committed. But if you don't never start to be committed, then you would never finish if you not consistent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to be consistent to finish. And you have to understand that only commitment is just the start. Saying that that's something that you want to do is just the start of something. It's just mm -hmm. the start of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is this is the, the dream that was given to me. This is what I want to do. And this is how I want to change it. But if you're not consistent and following up on the process of what it takes to build a dream, then that's where your fear lies. And one thing that's going to that you are going to fear is having to tell your loved ones no sometimes. Man. Your loved ones going to have to understand that you're ch chasing your dream and that you need time to yourself to be able to think and Man. plot out this dream. And it's going to hurt you to say no sometimes to going out or coming to see such and such. Man, but, come on. But Trey, you know what's crazy though? You And I, and I, I have this talk with people all the time when they come up and ask, like, well, man, why you, like, it, you make it seem like everything is so easy. Bro, it's never, nothing is never easy. Anything work, worth having is always going to be hard to maintain. It's always going to be hard to grab. It's always going to be hard to achieve because that's something that you truly deep down in your heart really want. So you have to understand that the process, people are so quick to jump to, man, I see this. But this is what I want. But what you're missing is that key piece that's in the middle, which is that mm -hmm. process, right? The process. So I say this, right? You get treated and you get, you get, let me, let me think about it. Hold on. Basically, you get threatened the most when fear shows itself, right? Mm -hmm. When one, there's no preparation. But when you get tested the most, it's when you when it's time for you to actually elevate yourself. Mm -hmm. That's when you get tested the most. When everything that's going on around you don't seem to make sense. When everything around you, you know what I mean, it's, it, it, it seems like it's unlevel. Everything is going bad or I feel like I'm stuck in this same rut or I don't know what's next and I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't really know if I need to take this step. I don't really know if this step is the right step for me. I don't really know what's going to happen if I decide to go all in. That's, that's you getting tested. Yeah, that's God's test to see if you trust him enough to – Take take you on that next step in Right your before journey. he give you that elevation yeah. You see what I'm saying So remember that you're going to get tested the most Right When it's time for you to elevate But the key fact in it Is don't break You cannot break It's many people out here And I, and I, what, what kills me the most Is when you sit back and you think about it bro This world's been around for Decades Everything that we are trying to do has probably already been done 10 times over and then some, right? You can't reinvent something. The only thing that you can do is brand it and build it and use it in your own way. You see what I'm saying? So knowing that is also understanding that someone had to go through the same hard times that you did. Someone had to face the same storms that you had to face. Somebody also feared the same success that you feared. But fear without preparation is, is is non-existent. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this, right? I got these eight steps that I like. I call it the eight steps of growth, All right. right? This is what I say. The first one is you got to stop talking. Talk less, right? The second one is do more. If you feel like you're not doing enough, do more, right? Then the third one is Compare your, stop comparing yourself to other people's success. Stop putting yourself in other people's shoes. Stop trying to uh, trying to compare. Why? Well, why am I doing this and Joe Blow doing the same thing, but Joe Blow getting more recognition or, or he hitting his stride faster than I am? Because what y'all two doing might be two different things. 
know what I'm saying? Stop comparing yourself. Reflect more. Take time. When you're in that grind, when you got your head down and you going hard for 60, 30, or 90 days, however many days you put your head down and go hard in whatever craft you're building, whatever dream you're chasing, take time to reflect on the progress that you have made from the time you started, the, the time you committed yourself mm-hmm. to where you at now, and reflect on what you're going to do once you finish, when you be consistent in what you're doing, Right? Uh, what is it? Um, stop complaining. Stop complaining about everything, man. Don't help me. It's not gonna help anything. Like I said, bro. I talk to many people throughout the day at work, bro. And every time they ask me how you doing today, sure, I tell them, man, I can't complain. And people turn right back around and tell me, you know, they oh, they'll turn right back around and tell. That's good, cause wouldn't nobody listen? No way. Stop complaining more. But once you stop complaining more, pray more. Pray about what you want. Now I know, I know everybody has a different belief. Everybody feels differently about, you know, their religion. That's okay. I'm just saying, for the ones that do have their belief, pray more. And I want to piggyback off for the stop complaining. The less time you spend complaining, the more time you can spend praising what you have been offered in your there life. You go. Bro. The opportunities that have there presented you go. themselves, bro. There you go. Appreciate and bask in that. Then you could find out how to build off of that. It's the recharge. Mm-hmm. It's the recharge, and I like I like that. I like the grand. I like how the you know on Instagram it had man. That's the recharge, though. I really like that because bro, that word. It, and last week when I was watching the episode over, and I was like, man, that that word really holds a lot of weight, and it means a lot because everybody needs it. We all filled up when we committing ourselves to start a dream. We all have that. But, bro, you have to understand, again, pray more, complain less, right? That's six and five. Number seven and number eight is uh, discussing less. Stop telling everybody your dream. Can't give people game to come block your blessings, Stop. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But you got to remember that it's a thin line. Don't tell everybody every step that you're trying to take. You know what I'm saying? But also remember that... There are some people that you can give game back to that will use the game that you're giving them and help benefit and change and motivate them into chasing whatever they have going, right? So remember, there is a thin line, but you have to know. You have to know for yourself where is that line drawn, right? And last is accomplish more. Accomplish more. Accomplish more Again It goes right back into If you feel like You're not doing enough Do more Accomplish more Talk less And go out there And do it Man Go out there And do it Man I got partners Right now man That I'm I'm absolutely Proud of Real proud of Because the simple fact is They took what they What they felt They knew they can do Maybe they found it in high school. Maybe they found it, you know, as pre-adults. Maybe they done found it even now that they're on the back end of their 20s. But the one thing that they did is they never quit. And they accomplished a lot. A lot. I have partners right now that's starting their own business from the ground up. I mean, out the mud. Like, nobody's investing in what they're doing. But they're taking their hard, hard earned money. And they're applying pressure. If you feel like you're not doing enough, do more. Talk less and accomplish more. Boom. Those are my eight steps I feel to success. Now, you can use it and take it and abide by it how you want to. But in my honest opinion, when I wrote those eight, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? That I, I, In my opinion, I feel like that's something that people can use to help them, you know, that with that foundation of building on their success. So I say this to say this man Lazy people do little work And think that they should receive more credit Right But if you work hard Then you don't have to worry About if you're being lazy You see what I'm saying Work hard man Work hard I said and I said it earlier But fear lives where there's no preparation If you have a plan Right Once you plan out Whatever it is that you're chasing, the dream, your, uh, you, you know, your next chapter, your next level, whatever it is that you're chasing, have a plan. 
Once you have that plan In place the system What does your system look like How does it work for you How do you work for it How are you being dedicated enough To change whatever it is Or sacrifice whatever it is That you're having in your life To chase something that you You only dreamed about Turning your dream into a reality Man you gotta have a system Build a plan Have a system Find you a team Find you a team of people that's driven like you, that want to see the same results as you, that has the same vision as you. Now, understand that people come in all different shapes and sizes. People come and think differently. Everybody is not going to think the same. If you find a group of people that think the same, hey, man, you're blessed. Man or woman, you're blessed. But again, build a plan. Find your system. Find you a team. Build a team. From that point on, everything after that that happens is in your hands. You are in control of it. You are in control of your own destiny, basically. So, again, to be successful at anything, you don't have to be different. You simply just do what most people aren't. Be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. That's all it is. At the end of everything that we talked about Fear Does chasing your dreams scare you? Does being successful scare you? Man all that is scareful All of that can be something that will scare somebody straight Because it will make you Honestly look yourself in the mirror And you can't lie to yourself I remember High school playing football The coaches used to tell us all the time Trey you can lie to us And you can tell us What you've been doing When nobody was looking But the one person You can't lie to Is that camera You can't lie to the person That you gotta look yourself at, You gotta look at every day You can't lie to that person So you can say A, a story Or tell a million words But actions It's gonna speak louder Than words So again To be successful At anything You don't have to be different You simply have to be Willing to do What others aren't And that's being consistent Just be consistent. And whatever it is you do, stop making the excuse. Stop putting off what you can do for today, for tomorrow. Go out there and make it happen. If that's your dream, chase it. Be fearless. Remember, fear lives where there's no preparation. If you got the preparation and you got your own eight steps to success, whatever it looks like for you, just be different. Be consistent. All right? Be consistent. Hey, man, D, you got anything you want to add, man? So you really hit it, hit everything right on the head, bro. Ain't nothing really I can add to that, but consistency is key, bro. Having a plan is key, man. And building a team, I would say that's key too, bro. If you if you know of anybody that's trying to do the same thing you're trying to do, bro, don't tap be in afraid to go ask for that help and tap in with them, bro. Because nine times out of ten, they need the help just as much as you do. So shit. Be the one that take initiative and go go get it. Man, no cap, no cap. And uh before we get ready to end the show, man, I just wanna say something. How about them cowboys? Well y'all boys something well y'all hey, y'all laid an egg today, bro. Hey man, say man. Hey y'all yeah. <laughs> I ain't even worried about it. What's that six two? What say what the same here? Hey man, I ain't worried about that. We ain't talking about the yeah, Saints. We ain't talking about that. We talking about the Cowboys. Yeah. We, we talking, talking about, about the Saints. Because you about know what? Relevant. We don't worry about it. Y'all gonna have to see it. Y'all gonna have to come down to that Superdome, and then we really gonna see who talking. Then Definitely make sure y'all tune in. It. Hey, that's gonna be a show. Cause I'm gonna. Hey, I got some plan for y'all for show. That's yeah. Man, I can't wait for that him. game, boy. I'm any, taking all bets. If you got any bets, come holler at your boy. E too smooth. Got you. I'm gonna take care of you. Thank but you. look. Before we get out of here, man, I just want to give a quick, quick shout out, man, to my boy Tim, man, over at Organic Slim Juices. Hey, man, y'all get over, man, and go holler at him and tap in. If you into, you know, the the nutrition, if you into your immune system building, if you into fitness building, training smoothies, all that good stuff, Organic Slim Juices has 
everything that you need, man. Stop over and check them out. Go holler at my boy Tim and tell him the DLS E2 Smooth Mr. Sent him. You hear what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all go tap that out. You know what I'm saying? Right there, Organic Slim Juices. Man, I promise you, you would not be disappointed. But before we get up out of here, man, I just want to give a quick shout out to all our sponsors, man. Shout out to Never Not Real. Shout out to Hardest of Hoodies. Shout out to Pretty Penny Meeks and The Playhouse, man. Shout out to So Wavy Apparel Customs, excuse me. Shout out to Royalty Clothing. Shout out to the Day by Day Production team and family, man. Thank y'all, thank y'all so much for all that y'all do for us here at the DLS, man. From our family to you guys, man. Appreciate y'all and thank y'all so, so much. You hear what I'm saying? But, D, if you got anything you want to add before we go? That's it. That's it? Hey, man, so listen. You know what time it is. You've been locked in and loaded to the hottest podcast on the airwaves. This is the DLS, the Day Late Show. This is episode five of season three. Hey, man, you've been tapped in with one of the hottest fly- flyers, excuse me, DJs on the airwaves. I go by E2 Smooth. Hey, hey. Mr. Never Night. <laughs> Mr. Never Not Real in the building. Hey, man, y'all hold it down. See y'all when we see y'all, man. Peace. Get on your toes, probably blow it back with you, yeah We got the streets on lock, forever from the bottom But we still on top